Okay, like always, we need to put our first name, our last name, our room number, and our grade level on the back. Then flip it to the front. Then we're going to use the How to Draw Snowflake handout to work on drawing three or more snowflakes on our paper. It's going to be important for the composition to have some going off the edge. So this might be the best way to begin them. You can see that it's like an asterisk and then you can add things. So choose one that you like and then you can start drawing it. It should be as a shape. So let's say I want one to be here and I'm just gonna draw that asterisk to start. That helps me kind of divide the snowflake up into its parts and then decide on which one I wanna go with. So I'm gonna work on this one here. So I am gonna work on having that in between. So there's a diamond at the end so you can kind of draw that first. And that goes on all of the, every other it looks like. So use that to help you get started. These are off the page, so I don't need those. And then this is gonna become a shape, not a line. So you'll wanna erase what's inside once you have it where you want it. And then you're going to make that a shape. So you can see I've got one started. I would want to maybe clean that up a little bit, but you can see that it's no longer going to be a line. It should be a shape. So you're going to go ahead and make at least three. You can always add more. So I might do one in the middle and then maybe one or two off the edges as well. So snowflakes have what's called a radial design. They are the same from the center out. So that's another way to help you get things into the correct areas. So if I did this flower petal every other line, then this shape will be on every other line. So that's a way to help you kind of get things even and on the same page here. So I'm going to put these sort of leaf petals on and then what you're going to do is go back and clean up so that everything is a shape, not a line. So it should go into the next shape and then up and around, up and around. So that's what you're gonna do once you have that design in place. So you can see that I have two done. Remember we need at least three, so I could do one coming off the edge here, maybe another one off the edge here. I'm working on making these shapes and not just a line design. So the other thing as I'm looking is this needs to be a little skinnier to match these other ones. So that's what you're working on once you get the shape in and clean that up. Okay, so I have four done. Um, now's the time where you could go and take that time if you need to clean any up, straighten up lines or make them more symmetrical. Once you are finished with the pencil, come see me if it's ready. We're gonna turn that in and I'll show you the next step next class.